welcome back to the Moran family. So today's video is going to be all about my postpartum journey. Jade is going to be joining me in today's video. So to give you guys a little background if you are new here, Jade is actually my fourth baby. So this is my fourth postpartum journey. So I'm going to tell you guys everything that has changed. There's a lot of things that have changed. A lot of things are not the same anymore. So I'm going to just lay it all out there for you guys, show you guys what my body looks like after four kids. So just a little disclaimer, I just really want to emphasize that this is my postpartum journey. So by any means, please do not compare the way your body looks to mine. So to give you guys a little background on my pregnancies, my first daughter was born November 2013. My second daughter was December 2017. My third daughter was August 2019 and Jade was October 2020. So my last two pregnancies were very close together. So in between when I gave birth to Everly and then when I got pregnant with Jade, I think that's about seven months. Let's see, August, September, October, November. So it was about six months in between the time that I gave birth to Everly until I got pregnant with Jade. So not a very long time at all. So I pretty much had pregnancies back to back. So that, I feel like, was definitely a key factor in how my pregnancy was with Jade, how my postpartum journey has been. If you guys saw my six-month update with Jade, then you know how wiggly she is right now. She is very, very needy right now. So I have a feeling this update is going to go exactly how that update was. I literally had to, like, put her down put her on the play mat and then in another part of the video I had her in the bouncer another part of the video I had her in the jumper so I apologize for that she is just very wiggly but anyways so my last two pregnancies were very close together and I feel like that played a huge part in how my pregnancy with Jade was how my postpartum journey has been whoa so my pregnancy with Jade was very very hard physically i literally had braxton hicks my entire pregnancy and typically i only really get those towards the end when i'm almost um, ready to give birth but with jade i literally had them what felt like first trimester all the way up until i gave birth with her i even ended up in the hospital around 30 weeks because i was having consistent contractions and they were so painful i wasn't in like active labor or anything but i definitely was having consistent contractions so i actually had to get a shot while i was in the hospital to make my contractions stop because they just kept coming and even before i actually went into the hospital for those contractions i was actually having contractions for a while i was having them for maybe like two weeks on and off i just didn't know that they were actually contractions because they were a lot different than my <laughs> you're very talkative they were a lot different than my other pregnancies so i didn't actually think that they were contractions but the pain just became unbearable one day so that's what led me going into the hospital but now looking back i definitely was having contractions for a while so Jade's pregnancy was just very, very hard on my body. After, after I got home from the hospital, I was put on bed rest all the way up until I gave birth. So I was on bed rest for like 10 weeks, you guys, which was so hard because I'm somebody who likes to stay busy. If I see a mess, I automatically need to clean it. And Benny was a very big help. He helped me with dinner. He helped me with the kids. He gave them baths. He helped me stay off my feet. But like I said, I'm just somebody who likes things done a certain way. So if I sit there and I like watch you clean, I'm just like, oh, you're doing it wrong. And I will just like judge you. I know that sounds bad, but that's just how I am. And I truly get that from my mom because my mom is the same exact way. It's just so hard for me to sit down and let somebody take care of me because I like to do things, you know? Like, I like to stay busy. I like to keep myself busy. 
So it was very, very hard to stay on bed rest, but I tried my best to stay off my feet because when I would get up off of my feet, if I was on my feet, I kid you not, for 10 minutes, the contractions would start to pick back up again. So I had to stay off of my feet for 10 weeks and it was just so hard. And I feel like it just made my body so weak because I had to stay off my feet. I wasn't active. I wasn't like walking around as much. So I feel like it made my body so weak you guys so i definitely feel like that also played a role in why my postpartum journey this time around was so hard this postpartum journey has been my hardest postpartum journey compared to all of my other postpartum journeys my body just feels so weak and i definitely do not look the way I did before and something that I do want to say why do people expect us moms to snap back like we literally just created a whole human like our body has gone through so much we just carried a human in our body for nine months our body has been changing stretching growing for nine months so why would you expect our bodies to go back instantly like so many people praise you when you post a bump picture on social media and they're like yes like you look amazing that belly is growing and then once you have the baby everybody just is kind of like ooh like your tummy is squishy like you have stretch marks like I mean what do you expect like our bodies just went through so much our bodies were beautiful during pregnancy our bodies are beautiful after pregnancy like our bodies are beautiful in any stage of motherhood. So I just want to say that because I know a lot of you guys that watch my channel are post six months postpartum with me. A lot of you guys had babies around the same time that I had Jade. So a lot of us are going through this postpartum journey together. So I just want to say that your guys' body is beautiful. My body is beautiful. Whatever your body looks like, it is beautiful. So try not to be down on yourself. Trust me, I know there's moments when you can be down on your body. I have a lot of moments like that, especially this time around, because like I said, my body has just changed so much. I've definitely noticed that my hips are wider. I've tried to put on my pre-pregnancy jeans and girl, let me just say, they do not go over my thighs. Like they hit um, like above my knee and that's it i don't know my current weight right now i've kind of like just thrown out the scale i am a true believer in not counting on the number on the scale because just from like personal experience whenever i was at my healthiest and i was working out after my daughter aurora because i was working out like almost every single day and i was like on it you guys like i was um watching what i eat and everything i wasn't counting calories or anything like that so it wasn't anything too crazy but i was working out and i felt really good i was seeing like results i was losing inches but the number on the scale actually went up when i was working out so i am a firm believer in not paying attention to the number on the scale i believe it's just the way you feel but i do think i have not lost all of the baby weight definitely do not think i've lost it all so pre-pregnancy i was at 115 my weight has always been between 110 to 115 that's literally where i've always been in my life but when i took jade in oh my baby when I took Jade in for her three month checkup, I stepped on the scale at the doctor's and I weighed myself because I was curious and I was at 135. I feel like I'm still definitely around that weight. Like I said, I don't know for sure, but just like seeing how my body looks and the way I feel, I definitely think I still am around like 130, somewhere around there. And it's been a struggle for me. Like I said, I've always been around 110 and 115. Even after my other daughters, I still 
was around that weight. So after my first pregnancy, I literally was back wearing my pre-pregnancy jeans that same week after I gave birth. My stomach just went down so much and the weight literally just melted off of me. And that's just how it was for my first pregnancy. With my second pregnancy, I was back in my pre-pregnancy jeans like two weeks after I gave birth. So again, the weight kind of just went down immediately. After my third daughter, Everly, I noticed that I was carrying weight a little bit differently. So I wasn't really back in my pre-pregnancy jeans. They kind of fit me a little bit awkward. I was still able to get them on. I was still able to button them, but I noticed that my weight was just different on my body. You know what I mean? Another difference that I noticed in my body too is my boobs. For some reason, they did not change at all. I wasn't even sure when my milk came in after I gave birth because they literally did not change at all. Previously, whenever my milk came in, they became like rock hard, you guys. And it was like I got a boob job because they were just so massive and so full. But this time around, I was constantly questioning like, okay, like has my milk come in yet? Because my boobs never got hard and they never got extremely full. So my boobs definitely did not grow at all this time around. Even during my pregnancy with Jade, I was still able to wear like all of my bras. Benny's actually home now, so we're gonna try to get through the rest of this video in peace. We're gonna try. As far as like stretch marks go, I don't have any on my stomach. I always get questions on what I did to prevent them. And honestly, I didn't really do anything. Genetics play a huge role in stretch marks. I do have a few on my boobs. I got them with my first daughter. My first pregnancy is when I got them because my boobs grew massive. They were so full of milk. So I got like a couple. They're not like super dark. They're kind of like um, white stretch, stretch marks now. So they're not extremely visible, but I do have a few. I don't have any on my stomach, like I said. Oh, I do have a few on my butt too, but they are um, like white stretch marks too. So you can't really see them unless you're like really looking at my butt. But yeah, I don't really have any. Another difference that I had this time around too was in digestion, you guys so bad i know that is tmi but i just want to keep things really real with you guys i struggled this time around and i never had this issue with my other postpartum journeys so this time around my stomach just is very like crampy and i noticed if i eat like any like super garlicky foods super greasy foods i am just in the bathroom all night my mind is totally blanking right now hopefully you guys can help me out in the comments but i definitely questioned if i had something it's when you eat um, like spicy foods and greasy foods and your stomach just can't handle it i definitely thought i had that but as the months keep going by i'm my indigestion issues are getting a lot better i definitely was taking my stool softeners after i came home from the hospital but I still had like the issue way after I gave birth. So with my other pregnancies, I kind of just had like indigestion issues for like the first two weeks postpartum, just until my body like got more regular. But this time around, I just like, I struggled in that department, but it's definitely a lot better now. Thank goodness, I'm not necessarily living off Tums anymore. But if I know I'm going to eat like something really spicy, I'll definitely like pop one or two in my mouth just to kind of cover all bases, but it's definitely a lot better now. Another difference that I noticed this time around that I didn't have last time was the contractions that you have when you breastfeed post birth. I did not get those at all this time around and I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Pain wise, I was like, yes. Thank goodness I did not get them. I was like, whoo, because I did not want them. They were so bad. If you've ever given birth and you've breastfed, even if you didn't breastfeed, I still think you have them. But I think they're 
worse when you do breastfeed just because your baby um, triggers your uterus to um, contract so they're so bad specifically after my second daughter Aurora I actually ended up in the hospital because the contractions were so bad so it was at night Aurora was screaming her head off she was a newborn baby because it was maybe like two weeks after I had given birth I'm not exactly sure when but it was shortly after I gave birth it was the middle of the night I didn't have Benny there I think he was at work so he wasn't there with me so I was with Aurora she was screaming her head off thankfully my mom was there because she had um, come out like right before I gave birth so she was there for a little while after I gave birth too to kind of like help me out to get into the rhythm of things because Aurora is my second daughter so I was you know adjusting to being a mom of two so my mom was there to help me out thankfully and my stomach was hurting so bad I physically could not pick up Aurora it was that bad it felt like I was legit in labor again and it felt like my contractions were 10 out of 10 like I needed an epidural like that is how bad they were so thankfully my mom was there I literally had to call her on my phone tell her to come into my room to grab Aurora because she was screaming her head off she was crying she was hungry but I physically could not pick her up like they were that bad I could not move so we ended up having to call the ambulance they took me and they ended up giving me some pain meds they couldn't exactly figure out what was wrong so I don't know if they were just like the normal after um, birth contractions I know it sounds kind of silly that we called the ambulance and they had to take me to the hospital but honestly you guys the contractions were so bad and I never want to play around with any of that because ovarian cancer does run in my family my grandmother actually passed away from ovarian cancer so whenever it comes to like stomach pain and like stomach issues I never mess around with that never ever so I definitely took it serious and I got checked out I forgot what they told me but they told me there was like a little tear inside I don't remember what it was you guys it was so long ago but they just basically told me to monitor it they also checked out my bleeding because my bleeding was a little excessive I didn't need like a transfusion or anything like that but I definitely was losing a lot of blood so they monitored me for a little while and then they sent me on my way and told me to um, take it easy so that was my postpartum scare with Aurora so this time around with Jade my fourth baby I did not have a single contraction post birth so I'm like so thankful that I didn't go do the pain but at the same time I'm kind of like did that play a role in why my stomach didn't really go down this time around I'm not really sure the logic behind that because I know you get the contractions from your uterus um, trying to shrink back down to the way it was so I'm not sure if it's a bad thing that I didn't get those now I guess I'm gonna show you guys what my stomach looks after my fourth baby before I show you guys what my stomach looks like I just want to say again please do not compare our bodies do not invalidate my postpartum journey so here is what my body looks like with jeans also I just want to say I just recently discover the rockstar jeans from old navy and if you are postpartum like me go buy them they are the sky high rise rockstar jeans they like cinch in the waist they keep the mommy pouch at bay you definitely need them so that's what i'm wearing right now so these are my new jeans that i just bought this is what it looks like so if I fully like relax, this is what it looks like. Now this is the back. Sign. The front. 
you definitely have some um, extra weight going on like up here and I have my mommy pouch so that's how it looks so this is what it looks like so I still have my Linea Negra I think is how you say it so it's basically the line that you get when you're pregnant honestly I think I'm always going to have this line this line is actually from my first daughter this is when I got this line and it never went away even post pregnancy it's just never gone away so this has literally been here since my first first pregnancy so I'm pretty sure it's always going to be here it literally did not change at all it's just the way it is also yes I do have a umbilical hernia I was actually born with my umbilical hernia yes I've got it checked out multiple times and it doesn't really cause me any pain towards the end of my pregnancies it kind of um, hurts a little bit but it doesn't cause me like any excruciating pain and after like when I'm not pregnant it doesn't bug me at all so I don't plan on getting any surgery for it if it does cause me any pain down the road then I definitely will um get it fixed but yes i was born with an umbilical hernia i actually had a random girl like message me on instagram and she was like you should definitely get that checked out that's not normal you should not have an umbilical hernia and i was like girl i was born with it like i know my body like it doesn't cause me any pain it's fine like that's just the way it is it's actually been my number one insecurity it's something that i've had to grow to love so here's what my stomach looks like so i have a mom pouch i definitely have um some extra weight my hips have definitely grown i notice it a lot in um whenever i wear like pre-pregnancy things like my pre-pregnancy um pj bottoms whenever i wear it i notice that i have a little like muffin top going on so i definitely have some extra weight going on around here so i'm gonna go ahead and put on my pre-pregnancy jeans so you guys can see the difference so these jeans that i'm wearing right now these are size four jeans and my pre-pregnancy jeans are size one jeans so i've definitely gone up a couple sizes so I'm gonna go try them on and I'll be right back to show you guys. Another thing that I haven't pointed out to that I probably should have mentioned in the beginning of this video is I just started a new working out routine. It's like a 12 week program. I do plan on vlogging like everything. So I've been vlogging like my workouts and stuff. So I'll have like a full like transformation. I already filmed like my before and after pictures and everything so i definitely will have that video up but this is a 12 week program so you guys won't see that video for a while so i have the jeans on these jeans are actually my pre-pregnancy jeans from my second daughter i don't know why so i have these jeans i'm definitely going to donate them after this video but these are my pre-pregnancy jeans after my second daughter so as you can see there's just like there's no way like these just completely do not fit they're just not good so these are a no-go so here is my pre-pregnancy jeans before i had my fourth baby so they are just as you can see my body has definitely changed. My hips are definitely a lot wider. I have a lot of extra tummy going on right here. So these just, there's just like, there's, there's no way. And like I said, I was actually like forcing myself to wear these for the past couple months. And this is what it was looking like. So they're just, as you can see, they're just, they're literally so tight so I really need to just 
say goodbye to them. So that is my body after four babies and my body after two pregnancies back to back. As you can see, my body is definitely a lot different. My hips have definitely grown. My mommy pouch is a little bit bigger. I'm still carrying a lot of the weight that I've gained during my pregnancy, but I'm learning to love my new body. I'm learning to appreciate the way it looks because I have carried four beautiful babies. My body has just gone through so much. So even though I am extremely proud of my body for caring for beautiful babies, I can still want to change things about myself and it's not even about like the extra weight it's not even about like the number on the scale for me like i told you guys it's more so about how i feel and how i feel this time around like for this postpartum journey i feel sluggish i feel weak i definitely do not have the energy that i once had and maybe it's because i have all these babies that i've been chasing around but my body just does not feel healthy and i want to feel healthy i want to be able to have the energy that my children have i want to be able to chase them around the yard and not be out of breath you know i don't want to sit here film these videos for you guys and be huffing and puffing in my videos like i'm still pregnant you know what i mean so i can still be happy about my body i can still love my body but it's okay to still want to change some things but yeah i think that is everything that i wanted to talk to you guys about today i just wanted to say if you are a mommy whatever your body looks like it is beautiful even if you are not a mommy and you're watching my video your body is still beautiful no matter what it looks like, don't let anybody tell you any different. Learn to love yourself. We are all beautiful in our own ways. But with all of that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the Moran family. And make sure you hit that bell. That way you guys always get notified every single time I upload. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Bye.